Okay, I'm going to go through the story of kind of an average thing that happens on insurance claims. This is very common during storms, in particular a hailstorm. It's not as common in a windstorm, but in hailstorms this happens a lot. The insurance company comes out, you've turned in a claim, they send, a, they send a, uh, an adjuster out. The adjuster comes out and goes, you know, you need a new roof, it's going to be about $10,000. And guess what? There's a little bit of gutter damage, $800. I'm going to write up an insurance claim for you for $10,800. I'm going to give you a starter check so you can hire a contractor and get started. Now, when that contractor's done with his work, you send us a bill, say the work's completed, and we'll, we'll release the depreciation. So you're going to get all this less your deductible. Your deductible, you have to pay your contractor. And if it's $1,000, then that means the insurance company is only going to pay 9800 of it. You have to pay the extra $1,000 to your contractor. Well, you, you make a few phone calls and you get a professional contractor that understands how insurance companies work and the fact that these adjusters get paid by the claim. So they're in and out. The faster they go, the more money they make. So they're not out there to go through this whole claim with a fine tooth comb and look for all the damages. They leave it up to the pro. Guess what? Most homeowners go out and hire a hillbilly to do that work for $8,000. What happens? The insurance company gets the final bill. It was less than their amount, so they back off the, off the depreciation. In other words, you're still gonna get, you still pay your $1,000 deductible, but now you get inferior work. Let's say you hire the average guy who comes out and says, hey, um, I'll do it for that amount of money. And you can even keep your deductible. So you're nothing out of pocket. Well, he's gonna come out and do an average job. He's probably gonna use substandard material, substandard labor, probably not a very good warranty. And if you get a warranty in two to three years, that guy's gone or out of business, so it doesn't really matter. Here comes the pro, the pro comes in. He goes in and looks at your roof and goes, guess what, Mr. Homeowner? There was a bad bunch of uh, collateral damage on your siding where your roof met your siding up, up under that gable. And there's $2,500 worth of woodwork that we have to do to make it right. Guess the insurance company will pay that. And your gutter. They missed all the gutter on the other side of your house. All they got was they got the gutter on the west side and the north side. They didn't even look at the other two sides because the hail came from the other direction. So they didn't even look at it. We found dents in all of these gutters and downspouts. We got an extra $700 of gutter and downspout and got all your gutter and downspout, not just partial. Then we looked at your siding. You had vinyl siding. And it's not a very big house, but we found $8,000 worth of siding damage or paint damage that the insurance company completely missed. And we sent it in for a supplement and got it. Then we looked around and we noticed you had a bunch of window wraps or soft aluminum. And we found dents in them, small dents, tiny dents. But guess what? It counts. They owe you for what you had. We went in and supplemented that for $3,000. When we were done, we ended up with a $25,000 claim. And as general contractors, we are paid overhead and profit because you can't run three or four trades profitably with insurance pricing and make a profit. So they give us, the insurance companies will pay us, professional general contractors, an extra overhead and profit to manage the project. Now the claim is a $30,000 claim. We went from $10,800 to $30,000. At the end of the day, who would you hire? Would you hire the hillbilly who you thought you were gonna make money on, then you found out you didn't? The average guy, both of these guys are gonna cut corners, you're gonna get subpar labor, subpar work, probably not warrantable, or the pro, who's gonna go and go through this claim with a fine tooth comb, find all the missing items, and end up putting a quality product back on, and the insurance pays for it. Who would you hire?